Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of On the Table. My name is Contraviction and today we'll be talking about the SNES or the long version, Super Nintendo Entertainment System. The Super Nintendo was released in Japan in November 1990, but in the US, August 1991. The Super Nintendo sold over 49 million units with a lifespan lasting until 2003. This fourth generation console was Nintendo's most prolific console ever made in the company's history. Not only did they release games that hold up to today's standards, but they released countless classics, including Nintendo's best-selling game for that console, Super Mario World. For the inner cosmetics, this console contains 128 kilobytes of RAM, broken down by video and audio subsystems, along with a Rico CPU clocking in at 3.58 megahertz. This will include a 16-bit custom WDC core and graphics processor. Speaking of graphics, the SNES is known for its HD program called the Mode 7. Mode 7 is a program that will simulate 3D textures and character mapping with one example of this program being the Star Fox. For outer cosmetics, the SNES has two controller ports, cartridge slot, power sliders, reset slider, and a cartridge eject button. On the back, there's an AV cable and power port. Fun fact, the expansion port at the bottom of the SNES was used for the Stellar View a satellite modem that allowed players to download games, magazines, and other forms of media. The Stellar View was never released for the US though, only Japan. For the controller, there are two shoulder buttons, a D-pad, select and start buttons, and four action buttons on the right hand side. And lastly, my favorite part of this video, the title deep dive. I asked you guys on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, feel free to follow, and I posted this picture, what is the first game that comes to mind when you think of the SNES? And here are the results. Here are the five most popular games of the Super Nintendo. Super Mario World, Turtles in Time, Killer Instinct, Donkey Kong Country, and lastly, Super Metroid. <laughs> For the games that did not make it to the top five, but it's still worth noting based off you guys' comments, was Mega Man X series, Double Dragon, Street Fighter 2, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, Chrono Trigger, F Zero, Power Rangers, Earthbound, and lastly, Castlevania. If you believe we missed a game or you want to drop any knowledge, Please feel free to drop it in the comments down below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you don't, that's okay too. I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.